Hey there guys, welcome back to Banish. It's year 28 and somehow we're still here. <laughs> I thought this was going to end three years ago. They're still freezing every winter. They didn't starve as much this winter, that's got to be said. The food is still incredibly dangerously low, but they didn't quite starve. First things first, we need to turn this farm on. Which means I need to find a new farmer from somewhere. Um, then I'm hoping... Right, these are the only things my builders should be doing at the moment. They should be clearing these two farm sites. I want to get them done before uh, planting season is over. But they don't appear to be doing anything. The other job my builders need to do at some point which I've paused currently to try and get to the farms, is the Gatherer's Hut. Because we, we've determined the Gatherer's Hut is probably the most efficient means of getting food at the moment. And so I want a second one. Unfortunately, it kind of has to go hand in hand with the storage barn up here, which would also allow us to turn the fishing dock back on. Just because these, this fishing dock is so inefficient, and I think it's because they have to keep trekking back down to the main base to store the fish. I think if they have a storage bun up here it will be a bit quicker. So the Gavin's hut will be in the same boat. That said, the hunting cabin disagrees with this by the fact that it does produce a good amount of venison each year. <coughs> Forester's Lodge isn't a good example, it does have a stockpile right outside. Um, new labourer, they can become a builder. And it looks like we're planting peppers, so we've probably missed the boat on the other farms. So back to the gatherer's hut it is. The gatherer's hut can start work any year. The farms, if we miss the spring planting season, then there's not a lot of point carrying on building them until the winter. There's no point building them in such a time that they'll be finished by late summer, because that's harvest season then. Can't plant. Get another stone cutter. But we're starting to be okay with stone because I'm not using it for anything. That said, I do need to put 12 stone into um, into the gatherer's hut once they've cleared the site at some point. Where are these builders? One of them's down at the other gatherer's hut. One of them's just come back so I might have done something useful. They're all sort of around the main town. Don't do your jobs. They're so slow about doing anything that's a reasonable distance from the main main starting town, but it's almost just not worth expanding. Everyone is starving. I haven't looked at the food graph in a while actually. Um, yeah, I mean it's pretty steady. It's not ideal, it's got to be said. <laughs> uh, new labourers, what do they do? Let's make one of them a stone cutter and one of them a vendor. Right, they've cleared the site now. They've put half the logs in. So it's just the 12 stone and another 15 logs. The logs is frustrating because firewood is still a major issue every winter, but, oh well, the physician just died, oh, um, well one of the vendors can become the physician, not like use the physician a great deal, but good to have them. Also one of our gatherers has died, so the stone cutter mm -hmm. can become a gatherer. What else have we got? Um, new labourer, okay, they can become a stone cutter. Reserve of iron? Oh, another gatherer's died. Reserve of iron is low. Really? Really use it for tools? I don't know if I, I guess I have only had one iron mine for a while. Right, all the logs are up here, it's just stone awaiting for. Um, how do you hit? Okay. Children and students dying of starvation. 
We really shouldn't be low on iron, given that we're currently maxed out on tools and clothing. Which is a rarity. And it does make me inclined to say, can we stockpile a few more tools? And maybe some coats? So we can start getting back on the trading um, front again. Hunter has just died, and another hunter has died, and a builder has died. Yeah, everyone's starving. That's what's happening here. I don't have the people to replace them. They're going to have to wait. It was going to happen, we just had too many kids. They need to stop having kids. It'd be great when the gatherer's hut's done. Six more stone, which might be on its way. Really, there's no telling what's going on with these people. Let's go and visit the merchant. What are you selling? Warm coats? Mm, no. <laughs> yeah, just six stone into the gatherers, huh? I mean, then we can build it. Then we can not have any people to put put to work at it. And then we're done. Everyone is dying. I think. Yeah, I I don't have the people to replace them with. I'm down to one builder as well now. Really not ideal. No vendor. Oh, we really do need a vendor. It's really late enough in the year that we don't need the farmers. I think we're done with um, harvest now. Please, I just want this other six stone. Where is this one builder? What are they doing that's not their job? There is no reason for you to visit the herbalist. There's really no reason for you to be idling. That's just... That's just taking the mick a bit, really. Go and pick up some stone and take it to the gatherer's hut and do your job. Do your job. Get the stone. Take it to the gatherer's hut. So useless. Oh, how are the chickens doing? Not really. Oh, someone else has taken the stone up here. I only have the one builder. Anyway, could someone come and hit it with a hammer for a bit? Um. We have a lot of children, I could do with them being adults, really. I might have to turn off the school. Just to get an influx of people to replenish jobs. We'll consider that tomorrow. Or, well, next year, I guess. Um, Taylor's dead. Oh, I'm finishing the gathering so I'm going to turn the school off. Not, not until it's finished. There we go. Okay. Right, we don't need the school. Let's turn the school back on again. Um, now, the advantage here is it means I can upgrade up, up the farmers, put the gatherers up, replenish the fishermen, replenish the hunters. Uh, if I had enough people, I'd also replenish the foresters. And I need... Well, oh, I have a teacher. Um, there's no one to teach, but I have a teacher. The hunter. That's the next job. Hopefully, this gatherer's hut should do something. It's already gained 22 roots. Um, should start helping the food front. How did this farm do? 28. Okay. I probably got to that too early on the. Um, Disabling farmers 
to save people front. I still don't have enough people. Even that influx of 10 people from the school was not enough. There's nothing I can do though. It's winter again. All you can do in winter is watch. The uh, cemetery is pretty much full. <laughs> There's only four spaces left. <laughs> only three spaces left. Two, one. Yeah, would you look at that? It's full. Oh well. I mean, the shocking thing is that not everyone has died yet. We still have 46 adults and 19 kids. The problem is replenishing the, the supply of people is going to be a real pain. We have to decide what's a priority almost, so I shall turn the mine off, turn the quarry off. Um, what else can we disable? Trading post, don't need that. Marketplace I would like to keep running. Don't need the hospital. Uh, I think this is our second least useful fishing dock. Oh well, it's spring. There's still not a lot I can do. Well, I will leave it there, so thanks for watching, like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.